all right guys welcome back to day 29 this is the second last day and i'm really excited about today because we are going to be handling a problem that a lot of python developers uh, like you know just throw up their arms to they are like I, I can't do it i just can't convert a python file to an executable file so what we are doing in this video is this, we are converting this .py extension to .exe extension which you must have seen with a lot of softwares. Whenever you install a software, it has .executable extension, that is .exe, and you don't need a Python compiler to actually run this uh, main.py file. So how are we gonna do that? We are gonna use a package known as cxfreeze. So why are we gonna use cxfreeze? It's because uh, that's the one I know, and it's very, very popular. Like uh, Another one is py2exe, if you want to. Let me just uh, Google that for you so that you guys know. The other one is py2exe, you can also use that. Uh, I'm not gonna go into that, I'm gonna go into the CX freeze. Let me just type that in, CX freeze. So I'm gonna be using this one, let's actually check out their GitHub page. So what we're gonna do is, uh, let me actually just read it to you. So CX freeze, set of screens for freezing Python scripts into executables, which we want. It supports Python 2.7 or higher. We are using Python 3.6. Now before we actually get into it, I want to tell you that CX freeze has a lot of problems, like just like Py2exe. It has a lot of problems and uh, we are using Python 3.6, so I'm gonna go across uh, all the problems that you might get in Python 3.6. But let's say you are uh, using this or watching this video when Python maybe 4 has released or 4.5 has released. So I, I won't show you how actually how to like step by step how to do it, but I'm going to show you how to create an executable file by solving all the problems in front of you. Because I'll be honest with you, I'm kind of winking this video and I know a little bit about CX freeze and I have an idea what to do, but I, I'm not uh, like I still have, don't have a very concrete idea what I'm about to do. So that's why you're gonna learn how to actually solve problems while you are installing a package in Python or uh, if something gives you an error, how to, you know, just problem solve. So the first thing obviously we're gonna do is install CX freeze, which is the most easiest part. Uh, by this time, you probably already know what we are gonna do. We are gonna go to the settings, interpreter, click on this plus icon. Uh, if you're using anything else, not PyCharm, just pip install CX freeze. Actually, they have given the pip install command over here. You can just use this. But if you're using PyCharm, you can just type in um, CX underscore freeze and just install this. Install and just, I'm just mumbling all my words. I don't know why. Anyway, just click on install package and I, I won't go, like, I won't install it because I've already installed, uh, as you can see, CX freeze 5.1.1. And uh, after installing it, let's check out the documentation, what the documentation has to say about the CX underscore freeze and how are we actually supposed to use it. So let's open this up and let's go to using CX freeze. So it says uh, include the CX freeze script, which you have already installed. And then it says you can make a simple Windows installer using a setup script. So we have to create a setup script. So let's actually check out this setup script, what it is. So it says this is the setup script. So what we are gonna do is, you can just read all of it, but uh, I already read through it. So what it basically means is you have to create a new Python file. So I'm just gonna create a new Python file and you can call it, uh, and you have to call it setup.py because you can see it's written over here, setup.py. So we can just call it setup.py, press enter. And then we can just copy this code that they have given. So we can just copy it from here and paste it inside our setup.py. It says import sys, imports uh, CX freeze and executable, all kind of stuff. And it says to exclude printer and uh, not include printer, but we want to actually inclu include printer and not exclude it. So we are gonna remove this one from here. Let's move this and say geo applications require windows. So what this basically these three line does is that if you are using a older version of windows, it makes sure so this is kind of to differentiate between the Windows 62-bit version and Windows 32-bit version. If your Windows uh, is Windows 32-bit version, it kind of uh, changes the variable of this, uh, basically content of this base variable. You don't need to worry about it, just understand that if uh, your Windows is of 32-bit, then it basically stores a new value inside this base variable. And then this is the name of your application. Uh, we are gonna change it to Melody. Uh, melody 
compatibility and this is our 0.1 version the description is uh, let's call it music music player all right and uh, executables are uh, main.py so we are going to change it to main.py because we want this file to be converted into an exe file that's why we have called it main.py which is the name of our main executable file all right so now what we have to do is according to our uh, instructions we have to just invoke this script it says python setup.py.build how do you do it in pycharm it's very easy just open up the terminal and in terminal you can just type in dir to check out if you are in the right directory or not as you can see we are in the right directory which is my desktop and over here it uh, says main.py so it's pretty easy that basically means that we are in the right directory and now we can just watch this statement which says python setup.py.build so we're gonna try that out setup.py and build and press enter now this won't work i already know this won't work uh, because it's going to throw us some error with cx freeze it's never this easy all right it, there are always going to be some kind of error so now you can see it throws us an error which says key error tcl library so what should i do in this kind of condition what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy this and paste it on google and see what pops up uh, so that's that's how you do error handling right whenever you have some kind of error you just kind of copy it and paste it on google so I'm just gonna go to Google, let's type in Google, and I'm gonna paste this. Okay, so there is a first, uh, let's say is key error TCL library when I use CX freeze, which is perfect. This is what we need. And if you scroll down, it says you can work around this error by setting the environment variables manually. Uh, you can also do this in setup.py script. Uh, or uh, which, another one which I found was this one, which was working really well for me. So I'm just going to copy this one. We are just going to Im import this OS first. So let's copy it over here. And then I'm going to copy the rest of the files. Let's copy this from here and paste this over here. All right. So now it says after the after this fix, the executable file will be created, but will probably get a DLL not found error. So now what I want you to do is I want you to just enter this command again and press enter. All right. And then it will actually form a exe file for you. So if you go back to your project folder, there will be a folder over here, wherever you're creating your project. All right. There will be a folder over here, which will be called build. And then when you go inside it, there will be an exe file. And when you double click on it, actually it will throw you an error, which will say that, Hey, uh, the DLL not found error will be there. All right. Which, it, this this basically statement is already telling us so what it is saying is hey uh, just add this thing again and it will make sure that uh, you don't get any errors so I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste this again uh, maybe somewhere where should I paste it maybe somewhere over here paste it all right and now let's build our uh, basically our main.py file and see if it works spoiler alert it still probably won't work but i'm not sure so let's just i'll just uh, be quiet and let it run for some time because it might require some time to uh, create the executable files all right so it has done uh, executing and creating our exe files so let's go back and as you can see it has created this folder called build if we double click on it and then we click on this main.exe file and let's wait and it gives us an error which still says import error dll load failed the specified module could not be found so what is happening over here is that it said key when the necessary dll files will be copied automatically which means the dll files were not copied automatically in our folder that's why we'll have to do it kind of manually uh, so what we are going to do is we can just go to our uh, maybe somewhere over here and we'll find the files that we need so over here you can see these two files are being copied uh, to our project but using this automatic import option statement it's not being actually copied so we need to copy both these files so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna just copy this maybe from uh, not just copy this we are just gonna cop go to our project and this is the place where your Python is actually installed and all the these files of TK 8.6 exist. So I just want to go to this path. So I'm just going to copy this 
you can copy your own path don't copy mine and i'm just go gonna go to my windows and i'm just gonna paste this uh, maybe i'll create another window so what you can do is you can just paste this uh, over here somewhere and press enter and so now we are inside our dll files so now what we want the file names that we want are tk86t and tcl86t.dll so first obviously we'll go to tcl and we'll find out that hey there are files known as tcl86t and uh, tcl86t tk86t.lib but these are the files not we don't want because they have dot lib extension and if you focus over here it says dot dll so we'll have to find them somewhere else so what i did was i just went to search and kind of entered their names but we want a dll so probably you can find them inside this dll folder and now we can go to t let's see and these are the two files that we want so we can just copy them from here and paste them inside our melody project folder let's paste this over here all right and now we have these two dll files so now we don't need to include them over here but what we can do is to include both of these files we can somewhere maybe write over here how do we include the files all right so that let me just go to google because we don't know how to include files inside our uh, cx free setup.py file right so how do we include files uh, actually they have given it over here you can just write this uh, kind of a thing and it will include files so let me just copy this from here and in build exe options we can just write comma and then include files uh, and then we are gonna, just going to put put in the file names these two file names so the first file name is tcl 86 uh, 8060.dll all right and the second file name is tk8060 k8060.dll okay this also requires uh, quotes all right so now it's going to include both of these files inside our project folder which we want all right so now we are going to just do it again but before that let me just go back and delete uh, the build folder that we created before so let let's go to our melody project and delete these uh, this build folder it's gonna just delete everything so that it doesn't kind of overwrite it shouldn't be a problem but i just don't want any problem to happen and now we can just uh, write down python setup.py build again and let's just wait again to make sure that it builds properly all right so our build has completed so let's go back to our build and let's double click on main.exe and again it will give us an error if i'm not wrong i might be wrong who knows uh wait a minute what happened okay so the build hasn't hadn't completed yet now we'll double click on it and it gives us an error which says images slash ico not defined so what has happened is that when we compile this all of this together these images were not compiled inside our project so one thing that we can do is actually go one by one and write images slash and then the image name maybe melody.ico and stuff because as you can see in the error first it is, isn't able to find melody.ico and that means it won't be even be able to find any of these images so even if we include melody.ico again then it's going to give us an error that is not able to find mu.png or something else so what we can do instead of writing and including everything over here what we can do is we can just manually just uh, include them inside our project so we can just copy this and paste this over here and now if we execute our main.exe file this should run properly so let's see if it runs or not all right so now we have successfully created our uh, executable file congratulations guys uh, i think we are pretty much done let's just once see if it's working properly or not we are just gonna add uh, this journey.wave it's kind of nostalgic because we started our project with this one small wave file and we still have it by the end of this uh, lecture day on day 29 it's crazy now we can just play it all right so our music player is working mute button is working everything is working properly uh all right guys so this is pretty much it for day 29 and we are done with most of the things that we have done 
Um, all right, I just want to give you a recap what we did in this video. Installing CX Freeze is not the highlight of this video. The, the highlight of this video is how to handle pro problems properly when you get uh, when you install a new package or you have some kind of problems, you just go to Google, you kind of like struggle a little bit. Don't give it, don't give up. All right. Now I've told you how to use CX freeze in Python uh, 3.6 and it should work in other uh, Python's version also 3.4, 3.5. But it, if it doesn't work by any chance, don't give up and just try out something else. And uh, if you are not able to do it, just contact me. I'll uh, help you out. So anyways, guys, this is pretty much it for this video. In the next video, we are going to be just kind of uh, like recapping what we have done it because it has been a very, very long journey. Uh, so I just want to recap what we have done in the last 30 days. And um, and I just want to conclude with what else can you learn in Kinter and uh, way to take your uh, the skills that you have learned and how to implement them in a practical world. and just just don't keep on taking other courses all right just just don't keep on watching other videos because this this 30 day thing that you have done is already enough to make sure you can build any gui in this world now you won't be needing anything else if you like, use a little bit of your creative mind and maybe use stack overflow a little bit you'll be able to create anything in this world but anyways uh, i'm just getting too much into it i want to get it in the next video so yeah, I'll see you on day 30, the last day. Peace out.